to go to uh, Wichita, Kansas, and California all like in a two-day period, which means I had to get on the airplane. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, for several years, I used to come up here and make jokes about airlines, and you don't have to make jokes anymore. It's real now. <laughs> You know, that started when Northwest Airlines fired three pilots for being drunk. Drunk pilots? Damn. How can you pull them over like DUI? You down here like, well, hell, who's going to go get them? My Mustang's in the shop. You know? <laughs> By the way, this time you fly Northwest, if you want to aggravate them, here's how you can do it. When they come around to take your drink order, just say, I'll have whatever the pilots are having. <laughs> They don't like that. <laughs> and here's a joke I made up. How many Northwest pilots does it take to fly a plane? Two and a fifth. <laughs> <laughs> and this right here sounds like a joke, but it's not a joke. It really happened. This past summer was a year ago. There were four, pl uh, four incidents of where a plane would be on the runway. And for no obvious reason, the engine would just fall off and hit the pavement. <laughs> Do you hear me, the damn motor fell off? <laughs> Y'all sit there like you see that every day. <laughs> yeah, I just saw that yesterday. You know what? Now look, this is true. The FAA said that was caused by a malfunction in the airplane toilet. In the toilet. Do you see what they're telling us? Somebody flushed a commode and the damn motor fell off. <laughs> So you listen to me, the next time you're up there about 30,000 feet, and you're sitting there going, I don't think I can hold this any longer, think again. <laughs> I don't care if you pee in your briefcase. Let's, <laughs> and let's not forget about Aloha Airlines. They're the ones that had that airplane that took off as a hard top, come back as a convertible. <laughs> the top blew off. And the dumb things that people would say once they got off the plane. These are people who flew in and landed in an airplane that didn't have a top. It didn't have a damn top. <laughs> and one lady actually said this. She said, at first, I didn't even notice it. I just reached out to push the stewardess button and the sun was in my eye. All right, one more quick one here. This is about three years ago, upstate New York, there's a small airplane in a holding pattern, waiting for clearance to land, when suddenly without warning, the plane just dropped out of the sky, hit the ground, it killed some people, but nobody we know. <laughs> well, <laughs> do you remember why that plane fell so abruptly? It ran out of gas. Do you hear me? <laughs> I'm thinking, don't they have a gauge or something? <laughs> if I was the pilot up there at 35,000 feet and the gas hand was on E, I'd land on the freeway at Texaco. <laughs> they may not have any jet fuel, but hell, it's worth a shot. <laughs> at least you could grab a Coke and a pack of crackers. <laughs> Go pee. Yeah. <laughs>